For the past 10 years, Abby Peterson has been quietly making a name for himself among some of the world's top artists. Well, actually not so quietly. He often has to cover his eyes and ears when he makes art, but he's able to tune out the noise. It is very therapeutic. That's, that's a good thing about it. When you're carving, it's really hard to think about anything except what you're doing. This Breckenridge County native says he found his career when the chips were down. During a low point in his life, he prayed for guidance while cutting timber. There was a big stump there and something said carve a bear head. So I, uh, I carved a bear head. And the rest is history. He sold that bear head for $200 and began to make more. Now carving is his full-time job. There's nothing else I would rather be doing than, than carving wood. Abby carves images of all types of animals, as well as Native Americans, cowboys, Bigfoot, and bugs. He also helped make the world's largest smoky bear on display in South Dakota. Abby keeps one of his original bears on a shelf in the workshop just so he can see how far he's come. He said he had to make a couple hundred bears before he had one he was happy with. I tell all the guys that want to carve, I say, well, you got to carve a thousand ugly bears first and then you'll eventually, uh, eventually get to a good looking bear. We don't make mistakes. You know, if you make a bad cut, it's really just a design enhancement. This summer, Abby was invited to take part in the Chetwind International Chainsaw Carving Competition in British Columbia. I was just thrilled to get the phone call. Over the course of four days, he turned an eight-foot log into a leaping elk and won the top prize. So this Kentucky carver can truly be called the best in the world. I would do it for free. I feel really blessed to uh, be able to make a living at it. For Abby Peterson, any log holds hidden figures waiting to be released. But then there's a school of fish coming around the bear. That's not easy for everyone to see, but a world champion is never stumped. It's really a beautiful thing to take, to take a piece of wood that's almost worthless and turn it into something somebody's going to enjoy for years to come. In Breckenridge County, Marvin Bartlett with the Spirit of the Bluegrass.